In this video, you're going to learn about adding integers. And we know integers are positive, negative numbers, and zero. So how do we add um, a positive and a negative number? So we're going to do that. There's uh, rules to this. And once you understand the rules, you'll be able to do these really easily. Um, for adding, um, if say they both have the same sign, same sign. By sign, I either mean it's a positive or a negative. Same sign. So, for example, you might have 5 plus 2 equals. You're adding two positive numbers. We've done this since um, like kindergarten. And so you just add them, and the two positives are a positive 7. Now, if I would have negative 5 plus a negative 2, okay, same sign, I just keep the sign. Um, add the numbers, keep the sign. Add the numbers, keep the same sign. Okay, so if it's negatives, I keep the negative sign and just add the two numbers. If it's positive, I keep the positive sign, add the two numbers. So this one is uh, negative 5 plus negative 2. Well, 5 plus 2 is 7, and I keep the negative sign. So I have a negative 7. All right, when it's the same sign, you just add them together and keep the sign. That one's pretty straightforward. Now, if you have numbers with different signs, like you're adding a positive to a negative or adding a negative to a positive, then uh, it's a little different. Okay. This right here is if they have the same sign. That's the same sign. But you'll have numbers that have different signs. So what you do for different signs is you take the two numbers, you subtract them, and keep the sign of the bigger number. OK, here we go. So let's do 5 plus negative 2. They have different signs. This is a negative here, and this is a positive. So we have a positive plus a negative. And you're gonna you're gonna subtract the two numbers. It's the tricky part. Subtract it when you have different signs. Different signs. What you do is you subtract the two numbers. Don't add them, you subtract them and use the sign of the larger number. Now you're just looking at number here, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. And this one, I don't worry about my signs right now. I have a 2 and I have a 5. A 2 and a 5. Okay. I take the 5 and I subtract the 2, and it leaves me with 3. Okay. So I have a 3 right there. And it doesn't matter if it's which way it is. You're always going to take the the bigger number and subtract it from the smaller to see what you have left. Okay, so I took this 5, I took away 2, and I got 3. Now, that's one step. Second step, I go back and I look at which sign is bigger. So I have this 5 and 2. I'm going to put a little mark right here. I know 5 is bigger than 2. Okay, 
I'm not worried about negative or positive or anything. I'm just looking at the digit, the digit. Five is bigger than two. So I keep the positive sign, which is right there. So if I would actually write these out. So five plus negative two is a positive three. Okay. Let's do another one. But this time, let's make it negative 5 plus a positive 2. So I have a negative here, and I have a positive here. I'm going to look at just the digits. The digit 5, the digit 2. Um, and because I have opposites, I subtract them. Um, 5 Take away 2 is 3, so I'm going to write 3 right here, okay? 5 minus 2 is 3. I've subtracted the two digits, and now I have to look at the signs. Well, no, I have to look at which digit is bigger, and then I choose that sign. So, is 5 bigger than 2? Yes, of course we know that. So, I keep the sign of the bigger digit. The bigger digit is 5, I go and I keep that sign and I take it and I put it in front of the 3. So negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. So I can also rationally think about this too um, on a number line if I would want to. Again, I always tell you I think about temperature, okay? So if I have uh, negative 5, uh, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, okay? So I plot this first, this negative 5. Negative 5 goes here. And I know when I'm adding something, I'm going more. I'm adding a positive 2, so the positive 2 goes up 1, 2. So then I'm at negative 3. I could do it that way. There's a couple systems. One is if you just want to do this system, if it has different signs, you subtract the two numbers and use the sign of the larger number. Or you could put them, if they're smaller like this, you can almost put them on a number line and then do what it says. I like to remember this rule. Different signs subtract the digits or subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the bigger digit. Okay? Let's look at another uh, one that's different signs. What if I would have um, one, oops, one plus negative three? 1 plus negative 3 equals, and then I'm going to do it down here, I'm going to do it the other way. Negative 1 plus a positive 3 equals, okay? So I have a positive here, and I have a negative here. And this one I have a negative, and I have a positive. So I'm dealing with different signs, adding with different signs. So I take my digit, I have a 1 and a 3. I'm going to take the 3, take 1 away, it leaves me with a 2. Okay. So I take, normally, when you're doing subtraction, you're going to want to um, take this away from here. But because you have different signs, you have negatives and positive, it kind of changes everything. So different signs, we have a negative and a positive, so they're different signs. Subtract the two numbers, 3 and 1. doesn't matter which order they go in, 1 or 3, 3 or 1. You subtract them, you get 2. And now use the sign of the larger number. I have 3 and I have 1. Which is bigger, 3 or 1? 3 is. So then I look, and I'm going to use that sign. So I bring over the negative. 1 plus negative 2 gets me negative 3. Or negative 2, I'm sorry. 1 plus negative 3 gets me to negative 2. 
Hey, you can kind of look at that on a number line also. I'm looking at a thermometer. Um, so I start at 1, and I have 0, 1, 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, that should be 2. Okay. If I start at a positive 1, right there, and I'm adding minus 3, a minus 3 is going down, losing, not having, spending, getting rid of, going down, all that stuff. Okay. So a negative 3, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. And so now I'm at negative 2. So you could do the number line if it's smaller digits, but if it's if it's bigger digits, you're going to want to use this method. Okay, let's do it with this one here. Same same numbers, but the signs on the different. So it's negative one plus three. Okay, so I'm doing different signs, three and one. <clears throat> I subtract three and one. I get two. Okay, and I'm going to put a positive here. So I took the 3 and the 1, subtracted them, got my 2. Now I need to use the sign of the larger number. So 3 and 1, 3 is larger. So I'm going to use that plus. So if I have a negative 1 and I add 3 to it, I'm now at 2. Okay? So if it's smaller digits, you can use the number line. Um, or this is the method. Okay. I'll be giving you a, a nice chart that shows you this information. Um, when you're adding, adding, when you're adding numbers, same sign, you add the numbers, keep the sign. Two negatives, you add them together and have a negative number. Two positives, you add them together, you have a positive number. Different signs. So if you have a negative or a positive or a positive and a negative, you're adding them together. You subtract the two digits, the two numbers, and use the sign of the larger one. Okay? It's a little tricky. So we, we talked about ordering, and uh, you could say when you're ordering... Um, negative 3 and negative 1, this one's going to be a lot smaller. Negative 3 is going to be smaller than positive 1. And you're right, it is. But when you're doing subtraction like this, you don't worry about negative or positive. You worry about what is the digit, which one's bigger. This 3 is a bigger digit than 1, so you use this sign. Okay, we're going to practice a lot of these. Um, once you get into the rhythm, once you really, this rule sinks in, um, they're not that bad, and you'll be able to do it. It's confusing at first, but um, stick with me, and, uh, and we'll get it. And whenever you have questions, just let me know.